In this Photoshop tutorial, I'll show you how to make a beautiful and lush velvet texture from scratch. So let's get started. This is a really simple texture to make. So we are going to go ahead and start with a new file. We are going to come up here to File, New, and I'm just going to set this up at 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels height. 72 resolution of course if you are doing print you will bring that up to 300 minimum and i'm working in rgb 8 bit click create i'm going to go ahead and unlock the background layer because we are going to be using this as a base layer for the foreground color we are going to be using 66509b click ok and for the background, we are using 26164B. So as far as the colors go, what I tend to do is kind of pick something from up here in this lighter area. Then I'll pick something from the darker area down here. Click OK. So just so you know, your foreground and background colors have to be the same. One lighter and one darker. So they have to be in the same family. OK. Once you have your foreground and background colors selected, and you have unlocked your layers here. We are going to come up here to filter, render, clouds, and we'll have something that looks like this. Now we are going to come back up here to filter again, noise, add noise, add 10% noise. Our distribution is uniform and make sure that monochromatic is checked off. Click OK. Now this is going to give us the velvet fibers that you see in with velvet. So we are going to come back to filter, sharpen, and we are going to sharpen that to bring that out even more. Now I'll come over here to this layer, right click and duplicate that layer. So with this layer selected, I'm going to go ahead and change the blend mode to overlay. You can see that the mode changed the color a little bit. So just keep that in mind that your colors isn't going to be specifically these colors. You can see how this lightens. With this, I'm going to press command and the letter T on my keyboard. That's going to bring up my transform tool. You can also go to edit, transform here. Once set up, you can come here and these are locked right now. So just make sure that this little lock icon is selected. I'm just going to type in 150 that is going to scale this 150% on the width and height because I have this little link. I'm going to press enter on my keyboard to see that. Okay, with this layer selected, I'm going to press command and the letter E that's going to merge that with the bottom layer. And now you can see that this is really big. So I'm going to come here to the crop and then just press enter twice to crop that back down to the smaller size. So this is the base of our velvet. We are going to go ahead and add a little bit more texture. So we are going to come here to filter, filter gallery, and we are going to be working with the texture. So we are going to come here to the textures folder, choose this one, it's called green. Then we are going to bring the intensity down to about five. And our contrast is going to come down to about 10. And then we'll change our grain type to horizontal. This can be horizontal or vertical. It looks fine either way. So that's vertical. This is horizontal. I tend to like this one more. So you can see the contrast right here. If you bring this up, you're going to get a much stronger velvety effect or you can bring it down to zero and you'll get this nice soft subtle velvet effect. But I'm going to go ahead and leave mine at about 10. So which is somewhere in between and click OK. That is pretty much it for the velvet texture. Until next time, thanks for watching.